This anchored boat is large enough that it can block the passing waves. But what of the chain? Note how the chain is smaller than the distance between the wave crests. As a result, the waves pass right by. Likewise, atoms are smaller than the wavelengths of visible light. Shine visible light on an atom, and it passes right on by. This is to say, atoms are impossible to see in the conventional sense, even with the most powerful optical microscope. Although we can't see atoms, they can be, well, felt using a device called the scanning probe microscope. An ultra-thin needle is dragged over the surface. Laser light can then be focused to measure the rise and fall of this needle as it passes over individual atoms. A computer can then be used to join all this data into a topographical image, showing the positions of individual atoms relative to each other. How about a look inside the atom? Ah, that's another story. One where we focus not on what it looks like in there, but rather how the atom itself is made of even smaller particles, such as electrons, protons, and neutrons, and then how it is that these subatomic particles behave. The study of this atomic behavior is what we call chemistry. Good chemistry to you. Mm-hmm.